Okay, let's uh, take a look at this indicator, which these points, these yellow points on the chart, are volume weighted average price sin V. The difference between this volume weighted average price sin V and the regular daily one is that this is an end day, has an end day up input, which you can, where N would represent the number of days to look back. So the N would be user input. You can choose to look back as many days to create, to construct the volume weighted average price. Two day, three day, one day, or 20 day, etc. Uh, so you could c construct your custom volume weighted average price indicator. In this video, I'm just going to show how to use, how to go, th how to set this up on your chart, and I'll talk a little bit about the inputs. Uh, as you can see, we're looking at Euro USD. And if you're familiar with TradeStation, you realize right away that there is no volume provided by TradeStation for Forex instruments, for Forex symbols, that is. Uh, so how do we, is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. Um, there are ways of getting around constructing something that represents volume even when you don't have volume data. Uh, and that's the algorithm, the algo for this indicator is specifically that. Now, I'm not sure why other people have not created such a thing. We're not geniuses, but uh, so far we're the only ones that have it for TradeStation. And it's a, it came out of necessity, out of need. And when that happens, usually a little bit of thought will usually lead the person towards what they're looking for. And that was the result is this volume weighted average price synthetic volume for Forex. Now, just to give you, prior to getting into it a little bit deeper, let me show you something so I can convince you that this is not a joke. This is ES, Cash Session ES, uh, E-mini S&P 500 futures. As you know, there is volume on there. Now, this is the same indicator that was on EURUSD. It will work on an instrument that does have volume or an instrument that does not have volume. It's not using any kind of global variable or anything like that. Okay, it's applied directly to this chart. So this, and it's set to two days right now. Now what I'm going to do is go to Format Analysis and <coughs> let me remove one of these. This is a volume weighted average price underscore H, which is a normal volume weighted average price, which is dependent on volume. So it does need volume the code for this particular one. Let me just turn that on and we'll plot it on here. Now this is set, this is a daily one which begins at the beginning of each day. As you can see it began here and ended here. And the same thing, notice the yellow dot, how it is pretty much the same. It's following this the green dot. The green dot being the one that does calculate volume and the yellow does not calculate volume. Now it's set to two days, so the first day would be the same as a normal regular daily volume weighted average price. On the second day, you're seeing divergence between them because this is set to two day. It'll just continue and not restart again. Uh, whereas the green dots or the green points have restarted again and that's why you're seeing the divergence. So if I go to format and change this to one day, this is the yellow points on the the indicator with the yellow points. I change it to one and as you can see there's no more you're not getting that large divergence that we had. So this is just to show you that it is indeed a very accurate representation of volume weighted average price although it's not using volume in its calculation. Okay now we can go back to just quickly I want to cover this indicator and how to use it. In other words, how to construct your custom volume weighted average price end days. The the end day input is number of days, and currently it's set to two. And then you have your plot, your standard deviation bands, which I have turned all of them off currently. Uh, you can turn uh, there's three of them above and three below, and you can also choose the number of standard deviations you want to have and you just have your up and down color which I'm using the same color for both for the volume weighted average price I chose yellow now as you know as I showed there's a two a two day 
value entered as the number of days. However, you're seeing two different plots here. The reason for that is when you have a when you have a market where the date cutoff is in between the session, in other words, it's after the beginning of the session, uh, what happens is the indicator will look back and say, okay, five third, this is one, you have a date cutoff here, so this is one day, and you have another date cutoff here, and this is the second day. So it's, it's reading that as two days because you have the date cutoff. So with instruments like that, if you're looking to build a two-day volume weighted average price what you would do is add an additional day so you would enter you say oh, I'm going I need a two day but now I'll add one day to that and when you do that then you get your two day continuous plot okay and it's just because the code is not looking at sessions it's not counting sessions it's counting dates so if you if it's a Tuesday if this day was were a Tuesday or let's say if this day was a Monday, and since Forex doesn't trade on Saturdays, uh, you would still have to conclude. You would still have to include the date of the of the weekend or any day that, for whatever reason, the market didn't trade. Um, so you would have to. So if you're looking to build a five-day volume weighted average price, and there is a day in between that there was no market action because the market, for whatever reason, was closed. Uh, you would need to use six days because you want to include that date as well. So that's pretty s much how to construct your custom ads. Volume weighted average price. Just enter the number of days okay, for this value here. And keep in mind with instruments that have a date in between the session, a date change that is, uh, add one additional day to get the proper now you can create any kind of you can let's choose 10 days and click OK and this would be your 10 day volume weighted average so you can pretty much you could have started one on this day so you could have this entire down move and that's simply it now if you decide that you want to have the bands on it this is set to a two day and there are, as I mentioned, as I showed earlier, there are six bands that you can turn on or off depending on your needs. And this is what the bands would look like with this. That's pretty much it. It's a fairly simple indicator to plot and function, so not much to go over. If you guys have any questions, just uh, go to the contact page and send us an email. Thanks.